welcome to Cheers. Thanks for joining me this week. I have a review and demo for you guys on a product that I found on a grocery trip I had about a month ago, and it is the Batiste Waterless Cleansing Foam. I saw this on the shelves and I was like, um, excuse me, what? <laughs> I love dry shampoo, so when I saw this, I was like, whoa, new tech. I have to try it out and let you guys know about it. So here I am. I've only been using it for about a month now, so I'm gonna give you my experience for the amount of time that I've used it. I haven't used this whole container yet, but I can already say I really, really enjoy it over like the spray type or powder type dry shampoos. Um, and I'll get into more of the reasons why I like it later. If you're interested in my review and a demo of this product, then just keep watching. All right, so I grabbed this one off the shelf after much contemplation because <laughs> there was so many different choices in this product. Um, each scent, I guess you could say, has different claims. So I ended up picking the hibiscus root cleansing foam and it claims to be cleansing and smoothing. I ended up going with this one because I've been experiencing a lot of little baby hairs growing out and I will update you on my whole hair care situation in another video. Um, but I've been having a lot of growth lately and those hairs stick straight up for me because I have really thick, coarse, straight hair. So just my luck, they stick straight up. So I wanted to go ahead and get the smoothing kind to kind of control all of the frizz that I've been experiencing. And then of course, cleansing, that doesn't hurt. That's exactly what I wanted to do, get rid of all these greasy oils off of my scalp. So I ended up going with this one and I got super lucky because it smells so good. Like. I would buy this over and over again just for the smell. It's fruity, florally, but then clean and fresh smelling at the same time. It kind of reminds me of like a really bomb shampoo and you would want to smell like this all the time. So I got really lucky. Um, there are ones for like hydration and um, just cleansing, shine. So all of those are made with different ingredients and they do all smell different. I cannot give a review on the other ones because I've only tried this one. So my review will solely be on the cleansing foam with hibiscus root. That being said, I'll jump right into the ingredients and the claims of this product. So hibiscus root in a lot of hair care products is known for its anti-frizz properties. Properties. So um, it's going to help weigh some of your hair down, which I don't know how that works with volume. Somehow they made it work in this concoction that they have in this bottle, but I haven't experienced super flat hair after using this product, but I do notice my hair is a lot smoother and like the baby hairs tend to lay down a little bit. And I'm not sure of how the technology is in this product that really does that, but I am assuming it's the hibiscus root that helps kind of maybe bend your hair a certain way or just like get that static away from your hair. But the claims of this product, and this is for every single different cleansing foam that they have, not just the hibiscus root one, but it is supposed to instantly refresh your hair in 60 seconds and the foam will dry in 60 seconds as soon as you put it on. So it's supposed to be about a minute for it to get to work in your hair. You don't need water. It says you don't have to brush it out. Um, I, It kind of depends for me if I do brush it out and I'll explain that a little bit later once I go into like detail about how dry shampoos work. It also claims to have no residue, which is a big thing for me. As you guys know, I have dark hair, so a lot of dry shampoos have like white powder in it that show or make darker hair um, look gray. So I really appreciate that about this product. It is clear and I don't notice any residue in my hair. It is also free of parabens, sulfates and dyes. And then I think this is pronounced phthalate. I'm really happy that brands are kind of getting rid of the harmful chemicals and replacing them with more natural ingredients. So I'm gonna kind of go through the ingredients, not all of them in here because there are quite a few, but just the main ones that kind of explain how this product works. The first component in this cleansing foam and as well as any dry shampoo that you like spray into your hair, um, 
is called a propellant. Propellants are things like butane, propane, isobutane, and alcohol. And these ingredients help blast all of the good stuff in here evenly throughout your hair. Um, they do sound kind of harsh because it sounds like lots of like gases and flammable material, which yes, dry shampoo is flammable, especially if it's in a aerosol container. So those things just help get the product out and spread evenly onto your hair. This one is a little bit more indirect though because the spray type you spray directly onto your hair, so those ingredients are going into your hair, while as this foam you spray into your hand, so the propellants are just going into your hand to deliver the product, and then I think they, they evaporate so fast by the time it touches your hair or absorbs into your hair, you're not really absorbing all of those propellants into your skin. They are a very important ingredient because you are using a product that is supposed to cleanse, without using water. So you do need some type of propellant to get that product distributed evenly throughout your scalp. The second ingredient that is really, really common and in this cleansing foam is silica. And silica is a fine absorbent powder that kind of acts like a sponge. So anything that's wet, so in this case on your scalp, it would be oils and dirt. Once that silica touches those wet surfaces, it soaks up all of those oils and dirt and then it gets really heavy. So if you've ever noticed using dry shampoo and your hair feels heavy and you just feel like there's stuff in your hair, it's the silica after it has absorbed all of your oils and dirt from your scalp. And a good way to get rid of that heaviness is to brush it out. So a lot of dry shampoos recommend that you spray it, rub it in, wait for a little bit for all the oils and dirt to absorb into the silica powder. And then you get a brush and you brush out your hair so that the silica gets brushed out and you don't feel as heavy and you feel refreshed. This product actually says you don't have to brush your hair. I do brush my hair depending on how greasy my hair feels. If my hair is not super greasy, then I just leave it in and use my fingers to kind of like shake it out a little bit. But if it's one of those really, really oily days, I do brush it out just because I don't really like that heavy feeling. But I think since this is a foam type cleanser, I don't notice it feeling as heavy as much as like a spray or a powder um, dry shampoo would be. So those are the two main ingredients. Um, I do wanna kind of have a disclaimer out there for you if you are a regular dry shampoo user. I was doing a lot of research and a lot of dry shampoos use ingredients like talc and an aluminum starch type of absorbance. And those two ingredients are harmful to your health and harmful to your hair. If you do purchase a dry shampoo or a cleansing foam or whatever it is, a waterless cleanser, please check the ingredients to make sure those two ingredients are not in your dry shampoos because it can be harmful if you use them often. So please double check your ingredients and make sure that you are avoiding these two ingredients just for the sake of your health. Now's the fun part, I'm gonna dive into the demo. You guys are very lucky because I didn't wash my hair purposely for like two and a half days, so I could be extra greasy for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna get really up close and personal so you can kind of see what my hair looks like before I use this product. All right, y'all, I am super up close. This is my hair. As you can see, it is a little greasy um, and you can tell because my hair once it gets greasy it kind of like does this like clumping thing where it won't just be like strands but it'll like clump into little sections of hair and that's how I know oh I need some dry shampoo or I need to wash my hair but it is pretty oily as you can see and the more I play with it the more I'm like feeling it on my fingers all right Ooh, sorry I had to see that nastiness. Now I'm gonna go in with the dry shampoo so you guys can see the after effect. There are very simple instructions on the can for you to follow. So you're supposed to shake really well and I just shake until um, I can't really hear or feel any of the liquid in there moving so it's really bubbly. And it says the more that you shake, the better their results are gonna be because you're mixing up all that goodness inside. The thing about this product that really scared me is you use a lot or it seems like a lot. It, foams up so you're really not using too much of what's in the can but it just looks like a lot and on the website it does say to start with a peach sized amount which is basically 
your whole palm. I did that at first and I didn't really like it as much. I think I end up using a peach sized amount by the end of it, but I like using a little bit smaller amounts so I can distribute the product into more places in my hair because this stuff, although it says it dries in 60 seconds, it dries fast, okay? So I like working in sections just because I feel like I can get it into all of the areas of my scalp. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. You turn it upside down and then it's really fun. It's a very thick foam and it's really lightweight. So once you rub it, it's like pretty much gone. Okay, so you wanna work really quick and I just kinda do this at first and I do just the tops and then I go into the sides, the so same sized amount. And now I do kind of like the back of my hair. So I do get oily near the nape of my neck. And this is what I mean, like working in smaller sections helps get the product distributed nicely. I have long hair, so I lift up my hair to make sure I'm touching my scalp with the product. You don't wanna just put it on your hair. All right, so this is what my hair is looking like with one pass. It's still a little wet because I have to give it the 60 seconds to dry, but it's still a little piecey like that. So I'm gonna go in just in those areas where I feel it needs a little bit more. Just work it in like you're actually shampooing your hair kind of you can like automatically feel it's like super smoothing um, I forgot to mention in the ingredients portion of the video that this does contain dimethicone so it does have silicones which helps the smoothing process of it all it's been about 60 seconds now so I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like see now the piecing isn't there so much it's like just little regular strands of hair and it looks clean let me zoom you in real nice and close all right so this is what my hair is looking like after so it's a lot less piecey and a lot more airy looking it's just not as PC or shiny and it smells really great mm. and this usually lasts me for a whole day I work like eight to nine hour days so um, pretty much good to go for that whole time being um, you do have to wash your hands after this product and I'll show you what I mean because of the silica you can see that like white powder on my hands that's the stuff that absorbs your oil and you can feel it's so like it feels like baby smooth on your hands so you do have to wash your hands but yeah I have truly been loving this product just because it doesn't feel heavy and I think it's the foam aspect of it it just feels really light I like the feeling that it has on my hair it's really nice and smooth and super easy to use it's actually really fun to use too I just love things that are like moussey or foamy it makes the whole experience of using it a lot more fun but yeah I really like the results of it and I think I am a converter to this foam cleanser life. It just makes me feel like my hair is bouncy. It literally feels like I washed it, like I'm good to go. I really enjoy this product um, and I hope this review and demo helped you guys decide if you're interested in this, in using this product or not interested. Um, if you have used this product before, please leave a comment down below and tell me your experience about it because I'd love to know or any dry shampoo that you use because I love testing new dry, dry shampoos out. I don't think I've ever like bought the same dry shampoo twice. I think this might be my first guys. Like I really, really, really love this one. Like I usually always find something that catches my eye more and this is just so fun and interesting and it works. So I, I've just been really enjoying it and it smells so nice. I hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a like um subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you are always up to date on all the videos that we post on here i hope you guys are staying healthy with the widespread of the virus going around um stay indoors eat healthy take care of yourselves <laughs> i'm thinking of you cheers to a good week guys bye